What is up heroes and welcome back to Small Pokemon XD Gala Darkness. Last episode we are on the hunt for Makan so he can actually upgrade our scooter so we can make our way across the Fenac Desert. And then we came to the mansion and Chobin decided to battle us because he didn't realise who we were at first and then the professor came out and gave him this robot Groudon which was pretty awesome. Unfortunately we didn't actually get to battle this thing, it was just basically an upgraded battle of Chobin where he had um, some flora which uh, kind of sucked. I really wanted to battle the mechanical Groudon but whatever. Let's head inside and find Makan. So we can't go for the door on the right. I'm pretty sure because I was locked last time and he is not here. So maybe we can. Oh he can, nice. Ooh, what's that? That is nothing. Okay, this place is weird. And I can grab the hooks, okay. So the yellow one I can grab then, I guess I can maybe grab this green one. This place looks pretty awesome. Oh, there he is, he's down there. I see him, I need to get over there. So, uh, yellow one will take me there and the red will take me back to the start. Okay, so don't want to go that way. I'm to get the green way. This is actually pretty cool. Ah, oh, look, there's the um, parts of the mechanical Kyogre. Because basically when we beat Groudon... Oh, I need to get that chest right there. Um, there's an item just there as well. Uh, oh, no, I go back. I, I kind of had to get that. I need to go back on this. The when we beat mechanical Groudon, the, uh, the professor was like, You know what? I'm going to scrap Kyogre. You know, it's a waste of time. So if we go across and then land there... How do I get down? I see like a lift, but how do I get into the lift? As I go from the other side, but it doesn't look like it. Maybe get that down there somehow, and I don't know how. And we found a battle CD, CD05. What's in this? Come on, give me something good. It's filled with stacks of white paper. Yes. Hey, Jovi's diary. Now I have dirt on my sister. Top secret. The Pokemon HQ lab has a secret room. So, ooh, doesn't look like anybody knows where it is. Jovi will find it first and make it a secret base. So there's a secret base in the Pokemon Lab HQ. I'm gonna try and find that. The robots under this room are made to look like a red Pokemon, and a blue one. They are supposed to work, but Jovi's not sure if that's true. Because Jobin says that Jovi can't take a ride. Jovi bets Jobin won't let Jovi take a ride because they don't work. Jobin's a cheapskate. It's like a tongue twister a little bit. Talking to the third person is so annoying. Oh yeah, I gotta click that. I'm trying to click the uh, the hook then. Um, so there's a secret base in the HQ lab which I want to try and find at some point. I want to hit the yellow ones, I want to go back this way. So I think we might be able to get down the lift from the yellow side, I think, maybe. Can we go the yellow side? Yeah we can, yeah. I can barely see the hook. So is there like a door here or something? No. Okay, so maybe I have to come down to the room. Maybe the door by the um the professor's unlocked now, because last time that was locked as well. Like you click it, it's like, no, you can't go in there. Unless there's a lift somewhere. I'm sure you're in here. No yeah, we can't go in here, see? You child, this area is strictly prohibited. Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. Okay. No, we can go inside now. Okay. Ah, there we go. And there's the lift. Anything around here? Hidden item or anything? That would be cool. No, nothing. Okay, that's all good. Down we go. I just want to get this uh, scooter upgrade so I can just get to the desert. Rare candy, ooh, nice. I think I'll probably save the rare candy until I actually need something to evolve. 
Like if, um, I don't know, Pokemon's one level away, then I'll use it then. Or save it to the end of the game. Hmm, so this is Robo Kyoga, and Kamuniko had another development. Called it useless scrap and demanded that I haul it away. But you know, this is quite a well engineered machine. Gotta say, it's a lot bigger than um, Groudon. I mean, just his fins were. <laughs> it's pretty bigger than Groudon. You stand up, right? So, you want me to modify your scooter for Desert Crossing performance? Yes, that will be pretty swell. Thank you very much. Fine, let's do it. I'll modify your scooter. Good deed. Should, uh, shouldn't wait. I'll arrange to hold this Robo Kyoga back to my shop right away. I'll see you there. So we have, oh wait, now we get teleported here. That's very convenient. So we have an upgrade to our scooter now, and we have a dust goal is now purified. Nice. So next we move to a Pokemon uh, Center, I'll switch the boxes around so something else can get purified. While we wait. So last time we actually tried going to this place, our scooter's tires got stuck in the sand. And now we can go there if I can get across using the d-pad is really hard now scooter has no wheels anymore it hovers we have a hover scooter <laughs> and what do you know it's the boat that was stolen by shadow Lugie at the very very start of the game that's pretty cool also, if you remember, we are actually looking for a Pokemon on here as well. We're looking for the, uh, the Bonsley. Because the guy's Pokemon has gone missing. We got an email as well. Uh, Volti, thanks for being so patient. The pre-gym is finally set to reopen after the Cypher takeover bid. We are all working... Uh, we all... We are all looking forward to the opportunity of battling you, Volti. Alright, so we will do that at some point. We will battle uh, Rusty, take on his gym, and I guess I'll just push this like this. And we can walk across. Well, that's the hardest puzzle ever. But how do I get that chest? Can I just jump down? Because that would be pretty good. Hey, there we go, and we get a iron. It's not bad. This is a really pointless puzzle. <laughs> I don't know why you just couldn't have like a little staircase going to that poker chest, but I'm not the game to, um, designers, developers, whatever, you know, it's up to them. If you want to have a pointless puzzle like that. Well, yeah, it's, it's fine, I don't care. Ooh, got a fire extinguisher there. This, this is purple water right there, that's, um... That's probably not safe. You, you probably don't want that. Well, actually, what am I saying? The boat's like destroyed in the desert, so. <laughs> I don't think it matters if they've got purple water, do you? Ooh, whoa, you look pretty cool. You've got some nice shades. And again, your, your upper half is really, really muscular, but the bottom half is really, really skinny. Alright. Ah, probably have to battle with these guys. I heard that. You're pinning the blame on me. That's blatant insubordination. I'm in a foul mood today. Not plain foul, foul foul. Today of all days. He's in a foul mood, guys. Probably in a fouler mood when I uh, steal a shadow Pokemon. Ha ha ha! That foul, uh, fool Snaddle. Had to screw up. Someone let this outsider get in here. Our recovery plan's done, but we can't let you go. Not after you've seen us here. Hey. Yes, sir. Teach this little boy a thing or two about pain. Aye aye sir, you just leave everything to me. You can be assured the job will be done while you return to the lair. Ah, oh, what a coward. He's gonna stroll right past me. You battle me right now, I'll take all three of you on at the same time. I will destroy you all. Oh god, I just realized something. I did not heal my Pokemon since the last fight with Chobin, so I'm gonna have literally one Pokemon. Well, I'm going to have to cut back to when I start this fight again, because I have one Pokemon half dead against this dude. <laughs> oh well, if I don't beat you here, I won't be fulfilling my duties. Don't hold a grudge for this. Okay, we're battling smart on. <laughs> okay, right, we're fully healed and we should easily be able to beat this dude. Just 
hopefully he doesn't kill Rolts, because I really want to purify Rolts as fast as possible, so get my Gardevoir and start absolutely wrecking the face. Alright, so I'm going to Shadow Wave hit them both, and I'm going to, uh, Aura Beam Cacnea. Because we do not want that dude alive, because he will probably hurt me uh, quite a bit. And that is not what you want. Okay, uh, let's bring out... Bring out Sack, because he can spark a uh, Huntail. Well, the Moomin should, should not have brought him out. Use someone else, because he's got XP Share on, and... That hurts quite a bit. And kills him one lovely hit. Thank you very much, Wally. You are an absolute babe. So what else have you got? You are Teddy Ursa. That's kind of cool. Wait, isn't this the guy I stole? No, it's not. I thought I thought it's the guy um, I stole Teddy Ursa from, like the first uh, Shadow Pokemon I got. But it's not, I don't think. And I'm gonna go for a Body Slam on Hunt Out as well, just in case Spark doesn't finish it off, which I don't think it will. Uh, hopefully it does, but yeah, I don't think so. Come on, paralyze it. Wait for Body Slam to paralyze. Because Body Slam is not going to kill it. I'm sorry, Voltorb. Oh god, training is going to be pretty difficult. I mean, I'm probably not going to use Voltorb for a while, then I'm just going to let um, XP Share go to work, and then obviously Rolts is going to be a pain in the butt to train up. So I'm to keep throwing it out and sending it back. Just get the shadow gauge down, or I can potentially. No, I haven't got much money. I was about to say buy some sense, but I haven't got the, the money to spend, to be honest, so. I have to wait a little bit. Alright, so I'm gonna brick break you. Get to the air sword again just to make sure it's dead. I'm pretty sure brick break should kill it, because Bakusha is a monster on this game. He is really good, and it didn't kill it. That sucks! I really thought it would. And it missed! Haha! -ha. Don't get a crit, don't get a crit. I know you've got a high chance of getting crit, don't get a crit. And that looked like it would have been a crit. Didn't it? Quite a bit, and it wasn't though. Which is good. Which kind of scares me <laughs> to think how much damage it would do if it got a hit, uh, crit. So I'm going to go ahead and. Brick Brick, no, Aerial ACU to finish you off. My body Slam should kill Teddy Ursa. That should be both your Pokemon gone. I didn't finish it off? I really thought it would. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh, that sucks, man. This guy's a tough battle. I need to train up a little bit. Well, bring out Goomba. Bring out the heavy guns, the heavy artillery. See, if Kusha killed that Huntail, I'd be good. But no, he just had to somehow live in a slash fair amount of damage. Alright, so, break break you, and then mock punch you. Let's go. Let's kill it. This should kill it. There we go. The brick break kills the last one, and then we got one more, which potentially could be a shadow. Hey, Rakusha level 28. Good stuff. And a coughing. Oh, don't be a shadow, because... It's not good. I hate coffins. All co coffins must go extinct. If you watch my Y Wonderlock, you'll know what. Not my Y, my Mega Ruby Wonderlock, you'll know why I want them extinct. They deserve to be. They are terrible Pokemon. Alright, let's side beam it. And uh, let's go for a headbutt. I'm feeling lucky. I might get a flinch. But to be fair, it might even kill it. Got the confusion, that's always good. Get in your face, coffin. That's what you get. Right, so with this guy B, hopefully I can explore the uh, the boat a little bit now. Hello. 
just casually walk up. What are you battling those downright bizarre people? You're some kind of tough. You're some kind of tough? What? You're some kind of tough, aren't you? Okay. Don't know what kind of toughs there are, but I'm definitely a kind of tough. You know, there's plenty of food and all. I have to admit, certain things bug me, but nothing's perfect in life. Got to admit it, I'm glad that weird bunch is gone. Oh, you thanks for that at least. You must be tired after that battle, right? You can rest up at my place. Ooh. At least we can get healed. That's always good. Well, did you get some decent rest? Yep, it's gonna sleep in your bed and then. By the way, I've got the stupid ask of you. Okay. See, every so often I hear these odd noises coming from deep in the ship's hole. I think there's some uh, someone scuttling around down there. Okay, let's go take a look. That's probably gonna be the Bonsley, isn't it? I'm not gonna lie. If I lived in the RA region and I was just kind of traveling about and I saw this giant boat just kind of chilling, I would live in this boat. That'd be so awesome. And you have some more uh, poisonous water. <laughs> Uh, oh, what's that? I want the, I want the item. There we go. Battle CD 18. Mirror B radar lost a signal. I didn't know I had it. Whoa. Not leaving. I did not know that was leaving. I wanted to explore a little bit. Okay, so we... Can we only get one of them items, I think? It looks like we can only get one of them. Unless we... No, no, we can get them both. We just have to uh, not screw up. I guess you can pull it, but I don't think you can. Just got to make sure I don't screw up and I can get them both. So what we do is we get two PP ups. That's not bad. We jump down here, then we push it. And that's how you get them both. Nice and easy. Firestone. Ooh. Got nothing that needs a firestone at the moment, but maybe later on. So we got another one of these puzzles. So I have to push it all the way down just to get out and then push it back in. Get the item, jump back down and push it even further in. Oh god. These puzzles are so easy. At least they don't take so long to do as well. Maxifa, that's respectable. You just want to be really careful around this bit though, because if you get too close to the edge and you jump off and it means you do the puzzle again, it's just, ah, oh, so long. And, okay, right, so. If I... I can see how I can do it easy. So I'll just push you up. Did I want to do that? Yeah, I did. And then... I go round and I can push it there, get that. Okay, I see what to do, I see what to do. This is easy. Just gonna push it right here. Get the item quick. That was not getting the item, that was jumping off the edge. Oh my god! <laughs> see what I mean? You get too close and you just jump off. It's... There we go. TM35. What is that? That is... Got ice? I got flame for an ice beam? When did I get ice beam? Hell yeah, let's get rid of Aurora Beam and put ice beam on. <laughs> oh wow. And obviously teach uh, Flareon flamethrower. That's gonna... 
Make life so much more easier. Wow. I didn't even realize it's got ice beam. Oh, I just realized it's um, gen 3, isn't it? So I can use it once. That sucks. That's fine, that's fine. Get rid of Ember. Now we're going to absolutely wreck some face really quick. Really, really easy. Right, so now what we do is we push this. All the way up. Right, so then we go ahead and push this this way. Wait a sec. Ah, got an easier way, we just push that up. I, I I got it wrong, the way I wanted to do it was wrong, but in the end I found out you just do it like that. <laughs> I guess that worked out in the end. My plan was, yellow flu, what is that? My plan was to put this here, then go across, and I just realised, wait, there's nothing to get across this bit. So what is a yellow flute? Glass flute that snaps frequently out of confusion. Oh, okay. That will come in handy at some point, I guess. There it is! The little... F